We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. Robert. What 60 inch or larger TV would we recommend for a hundred uh, for fifteen hundred dollars or less? He has an Oppo BDP with two hundred three, so it would be nice to have HDR ten and Dolby Vision if possible. This has got to be a Vizio, right? I don't know what you're going to recommend, yeah. but it's got to be a Vizio. Yeah, <laughs> uh, honestly, Robert, I I would ask you: Is your room always dim to dark while you're watching, or is your room quite well lit? Because if it's dim to dark, go with a Vizio. All right, uh, the P65 in the P series, it's a little bit over $1,500 right now, but not a whole lot. So that's a really nice TV. It does Dolby Vision. It doesn't reach the super bright peak brightness, all right? It tops out around 750, 800 nits. Uh, it doesn't quite get to 1,000. Um, if you want to make sure you're well under $1,500, you've got the M series, their M65. I mean, both of these are larger than 60 inch models, but that one's only $1,300. Um, and that one does Dolby Vision and that, and it gets up to 700, 750 nits. So if you're in a dim to dark room, the Vizios are an easy recommendation. If you're in a bright room, then having the extra light output is probably more important than having Dolby Vision. And if you have all that extra light output, there isn't such a big difference between HDR10 and Dolby Vision because you don't have to tone map if you have the brightness to spare. So it's not really that big a deal. In that case, you'd want to go with what is probably the best reasonably inexpensive choice for a bright room with HDR, and that's uh, Samsung's KS8000 series. Yes, that is a one-year-old model number now, but all of their new models from Samsung are like crazy overpriced right now. Um so the KS8000s uh, are still out there. You can get a 65-inch for $1,500 from Amazon. So if you have a bright room, that's the choice. It doesn't do Dolby Vision, but not such a big deal since it can get over 1,000 nits. So he asks, is there any good uh, 4K, nope, or Wobble K projectors for $1,500 or less that can fill a 106-inch screen mounted 11 feet away? So this is not both, new. Not new. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say not new. Uh, what about the JVC we were just talking about not too long ago? That wasn't that around fifteen hundred bucks? Was that what he said? Oh he no, 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 thirty five hundred. Oh well, I'm sorry, I take it back. Yeah, no, the Epson the Epson fifty forty UB is the least expensive, like buying brand new. Um, that can do wobble K and HDR ten. It's twenty seven hundred dollars right now. So uh, yeah, fifteen hundred dollars or less. No, the right. answer is no, unless you're you find a great deal on a used model. Right. Uh, so both he says both would be used in the living room. So the TV will be viewed in ambient light and dark, but the projector will only be viewed in fairly dark project conditions. But you know, yeah, yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah. So he's saying amb ambient light and dark. I mean, how bright is that ambient light? Because if if you can control the ambient light so it's dim, then the Vizio going back to the TV, yeah. uh, I, I would lean towards myself. I like the full array local dimming rather than the edge lighting, the deeper black levels, that type of thing. But if you're in a very bright room all the time, then you want the higher a light output. So, But yeah, the uh, projector thing, I don't. You're, we're not quite there. i got to wait a little while for prices to drop. Once your question answered, send it to question at avrant.com. AV Rant. Now go out and listen to something.